Welcome to this lecture on in the course effective engineering teaching in practice. This lecture is on problem based learning PBL for short and problem solving. I somehow thought they could go together. The problem based learning is used by different people in different contexts. I am going to use it in a particular context. The context is we are at a level <coughs> where teachers have realized that they need to improve the learning of students. Just speaking out something and covering content is not good enough. How do you do that in the context of the lecture which is still the most predominant means of conveying information or in a class that is in, 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 a, in an educational setting the lecture still rules. In the context of a lecture, how do you improve that lecture to bring in uh, aspects that would improve the learning of students is what we are going to see. And the first thing that I thought we could do is problem based learning which is slightly changing things or it can be interpreted in a way uh, in which you slightly change things to directly improve the learning. Let us move forward. So, problem based learning PBL is probably the simplest extension to the traditional lecture I talk you listen that can improve learning. So, PBL is presenting concepts, information etcetera which we normally do just like that in the context of solving a problem. Okay. Let me read this again PBL is presenting concepts, information etcetera in the context of solving a problem. A guided discovery mode is turned on which makes learning interesting. PBL could also cover very many different aspects of uh, doing this particular uh, thing that is presenting concepts in the context of solving a problem. I am going to give you probably the most simplest aspect which is the simplest aspect is stating the problem first or an application first and then giving the information needed to solve it and that can better engage the students since it provides a context in which to process and understand abstract information or even just information abstract information even more crucial right. Uh, this is uh, this is what I am going to do as problem based learning <coughs> or this is the way I am going to see problem based learning to extend the effectiveness of a lecture format a traditional lecture format. As an example let me give you this. Uh, this is the first thing that I present to students. Okay. I am going to do uh, an application of the material balance principle to macroscopic systems and what I do first is to put this up on uh, the uh, projector, right? the data projector on the screen and ask students to first take this down and then think about it and then we will move further. This reads as a humidifier is fed with dry air with no water vapor it is removed during the processing of air to avoid contamination of the bioreactor and clean liquid water is also added. The liquid water flow rate is 18 cc centimeter cubed per minute. If 5 mole percent of oxygen are needed in the output stream of the humidifier to supply to the bioreactor, let us determine the molar flow rate or determine the molar flow rate at which air should be supplied to the humidifier when it operates at steady state. Okay. I just put it this up first without telling them anything. Uh, of course, we have probably covered the principle earlier or uh, you can even use this to, uh, to illustrate the principle, but I think in this case the principle was covered uh, much better earlier through various different groundings and the need for a rate and so on and so forth. So, that I think that I would prefer to do and this is an illustration of the usefulness of that principle okay. and the figure is uh, given here which uh, students take down, give them time to take down, look for the slowest person in class, wait till the person finishes and then tell them how to do the problem. Okay. Once you do the pro when you tell them how to do the problem, tell them how you are going to apply the principle, how what is the essence of applying that principle and so on and so forth. Right. So, this is problem based learning which is very easy to do. All you need to do is project this problem on the screen right in the beginning and then do the same things that you have been doing. Okay. This small change is good enough to improve the learning significantly. So, let me give you uh, another application of the same thing 
this can also be used for inter introducing a fundamental concept okay I am going to give this as an example although I prefer to do it another way or I think I am doing it another way here whatever I mentioned I am going to do it here. Remember our approach 3 in the very first lecture okay I am going to present that in the context of a problem based learning okay that is a concept it is a very important concept I am going to present that itself in problem based learning which has already been done just looking at it again from this context would give you an idea. So, let me do it a little fast here also. Remember the water tank aspect. So, let us say that we are filling a water tank of uh, volume 12,000 liters and that is the figure uh, some similar figure that I have shown here that is the water tank here right and this is the water that is filling it and ask for the mass right. I am posing a problem asking them for the mass this is more of uh, this thing I can just write down the mass directly 12,000 liters and you know the density of water is 1 uh, gram per cc or 1000 kilogram per meter cube therefore mass is 12,000 kg is something that I can directly write down I do not have to ask them there. And let us say uh, without waiting too much and so on and so forth let us say let us ask the question how long would it take T to fill the tank right. I have not told them anything about material balance I have just presented this first. So, I am providing them a context or a problem to pick up the principle that is necessary to solve the problem right. So, re the remaining is pretty much the same except that uh, the way it is presented is not in an interactive may not be in an interactive mode because uh, or need not even be in an interactive mode because the person is still getting used to the interactive mode the person is just a plain lecturer uh, I talk you listen mode and then the person is going to the next level. So, even if you just run through the thing uh, just by posing it as a problem first that improves the learning significantly because the students have started thinking about it they want to pick up things to solve it and therefore, that gives them a motivation that leads to better engagement better learning ok. So, this is the same thing you need to know the rate and once you know the rate you will know the time if it is 10 it is 1200 seconds and so on the typical rate is about 20 and therefore, let us choose that to be the input rate here and that leads to a time of uh, 12 uh, 600 seconds the mass is 12,000 kg 12,000 by 20 600 seconds or 10 minutes right. And then you say that suppose there is a hole in the tanker which oozes uh, water at a rate of 5 kilogram per second how long would it take to fill the tank you can just present it and give the solution you do not even need to wait this itself would improve the learning. If you do all that that is a much better way of improving the learning uh, students would be a lot more engaged. But even just stating this and giving the answer immediately you know you need to know the rate net rate to do this and therefore, uh, net rate is input rate minus output rate 20 was the input rate 5 is the output rate here which is the rate of leak the therefore, 20 minus 15 is 15 kilogram per second and therefore, the time is masked by the net rate or 800 seconds ok. Similarly, just presenting and presenting the solution immediately is fine the problem has given them a context to pick up the principle of material balance and then it can be worked out right. This I have already shown in great detail therefore, I am not getting into the details here and once you have done that once you have shown the need for working with rates working with net rate to answer some important questions and the fact that you have gotten the you have gotten across the fact that rate is a fundamental in terms of use parameter. Um, then you can present the principle the abstract aspect which can be applied to anything which is what is coming up next. So, the mass balance is an important principle based on the law of conservation of mass which is essentially that total mass is a constant as long as we do not with do not deal with nuclear reactions or travel at speeds close to that of light and this is the system on which you focus your attention there could be input and output streams. And if you look at a species the mass of a species or just the species first there are only the following things that can happen to the species input output generation or consumption. And the logical relationship between those rates is uh, the net rate uh, is uh, input rate minus output rate plus generation rate minus consumption rate and the net rate is the rate at which mass of that species gets accumulated in the system that can be represented as a derivative of time d d t of m and therefore, r n minus r out plus r gen minus r consumption is d m d t. So, 
to present this principle even this principle which is very fundamental you could use a problem based uh, learning process just posing the problem itself is good enough an example of problem based learning a very primitive example of problem based learning there could be many different ways in which you handle it ok. When we meet next what I am going to talk about is problem solving ok closed ended problem solving. Uh, what I find is many engineering students have not yet developed the skill of problem solving and that is a very important skill to develop in students it can be developed. Uh, some people are natural born problem solvers they would solve it in the best possible way in ways that you and I cannot think of uh, leave them alone but the average student uh, still needs to pick up. There are some students who have picked this up because of a need of an entrance exam to get into the engineering stream itself such as the IITs and so on, so IITs and IITs. So, they may need only a little bit of help even in IITs there are students who are not very comfortable with problem solving ok. So, it helps to give them a conscious way in which you could solve problems that is what we are going to see next when we meet next. See you then.